Hi, this is Janie from Janie's Journals, and I'm back with another um, installment of my scrap busting Pinterest inspired series. There is a playlist, and at the very end of the video, on the very last frame, I will link the playlist as well as a playlist to my Butterbox Junk Journal. Um, this week, here is our inspiration from Pinterest. It's from Catherine Elizabeth. And it's just these, these little bitty, they almost look like, um, well, it's, it's hard to tell, but they're a little card and then they have this little thing tucked in, which I guess could be most anything. I think I'm going to make mine into a little mini booklet that I can tuck in there. See, they're really cute. So that is what we're going to work on today. And because this is scrap busting, that's what I've done is I've gathered up a bunch of scraps here. I've got some coffee dyed papers. I've got just some um, really thin scrapbook papers that are single sided. And then I have some double-sided that are a little bit thicker for the base of what we're making. I've even got this is one of the Tim Holtz um, packaging. So I thought I could use that today too. I'm going to make at least two or three of these and then we'll see how it goes. And I'm totally winging this. I just pulled some scraps out of the scrap bin and we're just going to run with it. So the first one I do want to try using this Tim Holtz packaging. And I am going to be making um, a fairy junk journal. So I thought some of these would be kind of cute for that. But it can't be very big. Uh, let's see. I guess I should at least tell you what I'm measuring here. I think I'm going to go with two and a half inches. And I want to make it, let's see, that actually almost looks too wide to me. We're going to go with two inches. I'm going to do two inches by three inches for my base. So let's go with those and then um, we're going to need these thinner pieces that are across here. So they're going to be definitely two inches and I found, I love this paper, this is some kind of handmade paper I got off of Amazon. So I'm going to definitely use some of it. Okay, so I have my bases, and I've got these little um, strips that go across there. So now I need the, um, I, I think I will make those little booklets.
Okay. So then these, they, they look like it is either collaged backgrounds or stamped backgrounds. It's hard to see on this picture exactly what it is that they've done. But I'm just going to do what I want to. So I'm going to start with these Tim Holtz ones. And I am going to ink the edges. Because it's white here on these edges and I don't like that at all. And the only thing is with using this packaging, it's um, very slick. So I'm going to have to probably do some sanding to get any kind of stamping or anything to hang on. Okay. Might go ahead and do a little bit around here too. And I'm imagining what I can do with these is um, put them in the, the albums like little pockets. You know, you could um, glue it down on here on three sides and then use this as a little tuck for a tag or something too. Okay, I think this one, it is coffee stained enough to look okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sand these down because I know if I don't, it's probably going to be trouble trying to get anything to stay on them. If you've worked with any kind of slickish packaging, you know what I'm talking about. You know, I kind of like the back side of that one. I, I really do like that. I may just leave that the way it is. Probably not this one, but and I know what you're thinking if I'm going to make these into pockets, why am I sanding the back sides? And I don't know, just in case I want to flip one over for whatever reason. Okay, so here are the bases that I have ready. Whoops. I got five ready, so I hope I can get those done. Um, this one, I truly am going to just, I think I'm just going to use that the way it is. I kind of like the way that that looks. So now I'm wondering which of our little booklets would look good with that. Or do I want to make a different one? You know what? I had this black and white strap. There it is. I wonder if I couldn't make... Yeah, I think that looks good. I like that side. Okay. Changing plans already, but that's okay. Let's see how wide this is. We want two and a half by two. Yeah, I really do like that. So now I'm thinking the little band that goes across there is going to have to be um, either a solid black or a solid cream color. I like that. And I just happen to have some black out too. Why not just go with that? We were doing two inches by one inch. Or two inches by half an inch on this. And this does have a white core, so I'm probably going to have to get out my black ink to um, ink these edges, which is here. 
here. Sorry. Rummaging. All right. Let's just make this one first because I'm excited about making it first. I'm going to ink these edges in black. Okay, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I am going to um, get just some off cuts of coffee dyed paper to make my little pages for these booklets. So I'm going to stop the camera. I'm going to ink all of these and I'm going to go ahead and sew in my pages and then I'll be back. And now I'm back. So I had green thread in my machine, which for some of these it'll be fine. And the others, if I don't like it later on, I'll just use some some kind of um, distress ink or something and I'll color them differently. But there's the little booklets. And here's my bases moving right along with it okay so here's how I decided to do them that will get that that's there that one that one and that one so I got five going next thing that I'm gonna do is um, do the decorating on the backgrounds, which this one doesn't need anything. I'm just going to absolutely leave it the way it is. I like it like that. I'm not even going to put, they've got cheesecloth on theirs. But I don't even think I'm going to do that with this one. I really do like it just like it is. So there's the band that is going to go across it. I think it's going to be cute. Hmm. So let's go ahead and just do this one. Um, I'm thinking about on this one using my tiny attacher and then covering the staple with uh, a little, I think I've got some little black acrylic dots. So we're gonna try this one this way. It's a tight squeeze, but it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, and I have, where did I put them at? Okay, so I have, these. I've got these little black acrylic dots. That packaging is probably too shiny for you to see what I'm talking about. These little things. These little black acrylic dots. I have and to attach it I'm going to use some of the Tombow Mono. I seem to have pretty good luck with that. For these little things that need to be attached sturdy. Okay. <laughs> They're just so hard to hang on to. And this I may have to leave dry for a little while. Because that Tombow um, glue doesn't dry, you know, real quick. But there's that. And they have not got the fronts decorated. I'm going to have to do something, though. I can't just leave it like this. Okay. Now I'm going to have to do something with the background of this. 
and I did get some of my stamps out and like I said I was planning on making a fairy journal so I have these fairy stamps that I could probably use that's really shiny isn't it I don't know if that's any better there we go that's a little better I'm thinking of using one of these like I could put her on there oh she's stuck good I haven't used her before oh my goodness I guess this should be a lesson I need to use my stamps more Golly, that thing was stuck. Okay, after all that trouble, she better work. I don't know. Oh, I think I like this one better. And I fit. If I put her more on this edge, then when I tuck in the little notebook, she should still show pretty well. I'm going to try this one. Oh, but I need to use those things. Okay. And I don't, I know she's got like a horn or something here, but I don't mind if I chop that off. Okay. I'll use the black. Should I use the black? How about the brown? Let's use the brown stays on. Just because later on I don't know that I won't um, want to do any kind of watercolor or something. Well, she's going to be the opposite direction, but it's okay. It'll work either way. Okay. I want her as close to this edge as I can get her. Yeah. Okay. Like that. So let's see. It's this notebook that's going with her. So it'll go like that. And then you'll still kind of see her. I like that. Let's see about, oh, you know what, I have this doily, hmm, maybe not, maybe not, what else have I got, I've got this orange knitting that I made. You know what I'm going to do? Because all the fronts of these, um, well, they've actually got a lot of theirs just stamped. Let's try that. Let's try just putting a, um, stamp on it. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's very, very dark. Okay. Well, <laughs> now I do think I need something um, covering up a lot of that. Okay. Give me a minute. 
I am going to gather some little odds and ends that I can use to put on this in the center of these little books and I'll be back again. So I am back. I have gathered myself a little bit and I have a plan. Here is the first one that we will finish. Um, this is using the that Tim Holtz packaging. I found for the cover of the little booklet, I found these two mushrooms. Well, now I have one. There it is. Okay, I found these two mushrooms that I thought would look cute on there. And then I also found this mushroom sticker. I don't even know if you can see this. Let's see, what can I put it on? There it is. And I thought that would be pretty as a background. So we're going to put that on there. And then I was thinking, instead of making like a belly band to tuck this booklet into, maybe we would do a corner tuck. So what I did is I found, I have a book of foliage. And I found a picture similar to this one that had very full leaves in it. And that's the picture I found. And I cut out these two leaves with my dies. Now I'm, I'm using dies in a few of these. If you absolutely want to know what die pack I used or where I got them from, shoot me a comment and I will dig it up and let you know what I did find or where I did find them at. So I thought we would make a corner tuck out of this, but these are too flimsy. So I was thinking of using some more of this Tim Holtz packaging and putting these leaves on there, something like that, and just roughly cutting them out. Okay, so here's that sticker we'll put on there. And it is a little shiny, but I'm okay with that for a background like this. Let's see. Get my scissors. I don't mind if they get a little sticky. I'm wondering if everybody has sticky scissors and their regular scissors that they use. Okay. I think that's going to look good. Um, I'm wondering, yeah, this should, the art glitter glue should be fine. So I'm just going to glue here. I'm totally off camera, wasn't I? Here and here. And put that on there. Let that sit there and dry a minute. And we're going to put these on. This video is going to be a little bit longer than they usually are because this is just a little more um, detailed doing these. All of those little cluster-like things that I made on the previous videos seem to go pretty quick. Okay, so there we have it. That's what that one is going to look like. And I'm going to leave him out of here so he doesn't get glued in. And then we'll work on another one. And mine are going to be a little bit different. I've said this before in other videos that's okay with me because I don't want mine to be the same. I want them to be inspired by our Pinterest picture but not 
totally copied. Okay, now this one. So what I did here, I found for the background of this one, just um, one of those vellum stickers. These are Amazon again. If you want to know where I got them exactly, I will search and find the links and I will gladly put those on there for you. But I'm sure if you just look, um, look on Amazon for vellum stickers, you can find tons of stuff. Okay, get rid of this stuff. So what I did for this one, um, you know, this is the one that I stamped. That side, I don't like that. I don't. I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to use this as the front. And I used another die cut and I used this um, paper that's just got very faint writing on it. And I cut out this leaf. So I'm going to ink it just a little. Oh, well, that's okay. Tore the bottom of it off. I'm going to ink it just a little bit so that it is not quite so white. And again, you've got to take this sticker off of here. The, um, these stickers don't seem to be as hard to do as those plasticky ones. To me, anyway, they don't seem to be. Okay. There's that. Now, this is going to be fun because it's so small. Whoops. So we're going to just lightly put some glue on each leaf. Is that? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> We'll put that on there. Okay. So, got that with this. And then I'm going to use just a piece of coffee dyed paper for the strap on it. Um, this one, I'm thinking about using maybe some of those little pearl pieces. I don't know. And I know I could probably glue those on there and they would be fine. Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to just go through and make these and then I will do the finishing touches off camera and at the end of the video, it, there will be a picture so that you can see how I finished all this. So for now, let's just move on to the next one. Okay, the next one, this Tombow glue is dry now. So I have my booklet and I found this light bulb. I don't have a clue where I got this from. It was just in a bunch of random things that I had cut out. So if you guys know where this might have come from and you can let me know, I can give that person credit. But I I have no clue. But it's pretty cool. I think that one looks a little bit steampunky. All of these have turned out to be a little bit different. Which is fine with me because all of my journals that I make are a little bit different. But I like that. And I think those together are adorable. So there's that one. 
Now the next one I have is this fairy one. And I found, let me put my glue cap on. I'm going to use some of that handmade, um, the handmade paper to go on the edge here. And I found in my little fairy stickers, I found this. And I'm just going to put this on the front of that booklet. And I think I'll use my brown stays on if I can find it. Oh, what a mess this desk is in. Okay. And I know I should probably be using my stamper for this. But there we go. It says Fairy Wishes. So I know this is going on here. We're going to cut or trim that off a little bit. I want this edge to be pretty dark to kind of match the other one. Okay. This one it's gonna go on there. I think I think I'm gonna glue this one rather than staple it because I'm not sure what I'm gonna have to cover staples that's gonna kind of go along with that. So we'll just use a little bit of art glitter glue and put that on there. And I don't mind that it's not straight or it's not even. That's fine with me. I do mind these threads being too long. So there's that one. And the last one that I have is this one that has the um, that braille paper. So I found another uh, one of the vellum stickers and I'm going to use it. Well, I don't even know if you'd call these vellum because they're not exactly vellum material. They almost feel like cloth. But I thought the colors of this really looked good on here. And again, I don't mind if these holes have been covered by the, um, the sticker. That doesn't bother me at all. I've got like three pair of scissors out and I can't find my little sticky scissors. Okay, so I've got that. I have this to go on it and I'm, I'm thinking I may um, put a postage stamp on here. I know I got those out. Sorry, I think I hit the camera. So I've got these postage stamps because this has got a postage stamp on it here. So I thought maybe of about putting one on this edge. Um, it's going to be one of these two. That's going to cover way too much. And I think that will too. Unless I just barely touch it. I think that's what I'll do. I just won't stamp the whole thing. And that I think I'll use black. Nope. Just kind of stamp off and a little crooked. 
there. I like that. And once again, I'm going to glue this. Oh goodness, I think I've left my glue open too long. Do that and then this will stick in there like that okay so I'm gonna stop again I'm gonna do um, finishing touches because some of them I still want to put cheesecloth and things like that on and then I'll be back again so I got them all finished decorated and wanted to pop back on and show them to you I have this one, I wound up putting a little doily underneath there and some stamping on it. Whoops, there you go, that's better. So, and then there's the back of it, the background of it. And then I got this one done. I um, ended up, gosh, the glare on that, the lights there. I don't know how to get away from that. Let's see. Okay, so I have this one done. I put the cheesecloth underneath it and just a little quote, little things. And that's the back side of it. Here's the mushroom one. I think that one turned out cute. I, I wound up putting a little bit of cheesecloth here and here. And then there's that and then the little booklet I put um, there's just four pages in each one of these little booklets but so there's that one and then we have the little fairy one I ended up putting a brad I only put a brad on this side because this side was covered and I've got a little flower with a little bit of bling there and there's the background of it and then just the booklet it's pretty plain it just says fairy wishes and then my favorite one it's almost like a um, steampunk looking but this is the the background was just the back side of that Tim Holtz packaging remember and I put a quote, Be You Bravely, which is also Tim Holtz. And there's our little booklet. I found this light bulb. I don't know where this came from. I had it in my stash of just different things I've cut out and stuck away. So there are those. And here again is the inspiration for them. So there's that arrange that so you can see it well I hope that this inspires you guys to take a look at your Pinterest boards and see what's on there that you can just do on your own and I thank you for joining me this is another episode of the scrap busting Pinterest inspired and I appreciate you watching I'll see you next time